So how does it work if you want to use your MacBook trackpad on the iPad? Let's get started. So essentially what you can do is to make sure that both your Mac as well as iPad are signed in with the same Apple ID, meaning that they belong to you, right? Then you need to connect both devices to the same Wi-Fi network and make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. So then on your Mac, you can open up the settings and proceed to the displays, right? So you can scroll down in here and tap on a displays. From the options, you can click on add a display and you can choose your iPad to essentially be uh, added to the list right there. So you can see that this is the iPad. You can add it right there. And basically you can start using the MacBook uh, trackpad and essentially everything which you have in here on your iPad as an extended extended monitor, right? And then the trackpad of your Mac, like the cursor and everything can also be used on the iPad. So it's very simple. It's very useful in that sense. So uh, yeah, that's how you can connect your iPad to a Mac and also use the trackpad to use it and control it, right? So that's, that's how it works. If you would like to stay within the iPad OS and not do the whole display thing, well, you can connect a third party or, I mean, external trackpad, like the uh, Magic trackpad, which you can buy like separately. This can be connected to iPad, of course, but you know, it's like a separate accessory which you have to purchase or have laying around, but not necessarily the one, the trackpad implemented into the, into the MacBook, right? So that's, that's how it works. These are all of the options which you have. Uh, let me know below in the comments what you uh, think about this or if you have used this feature before. Subscribe for more tutorials and explanations like this one and I will catch you later in the next video.